Hello, internet friends, and welcome back to Two Player Star, where today we're playing Tapper, a game about beer, baby. Beer, beer babies. I did it for you. You're welcome. Thank you. So Daniel is playing, and right now he is a bartender who just wants to make everyone in his bar super happy. I just want to make everyone in my bar go home. <laughs> Do you got a drink? Yeah. Now leave! With the glass! <laughs> oh, dude, he is definitely running a deficit. Like, how much do you think he charges for a beer, and how much do you think one of those glasses costs? He's either running some really expensive beer... It's also funny, because they throw the glasses back at you. So he's okay about the glasses that leave out the front door, but he doesn't want to let a glass break on the floor. I think he might have some fucked up priorities. What do you think? Daniel? Yep. You, uh, you blew it. So, as you may have noticed, this game, uh, has the Budweiser logo right in it. Now, something you may not know about arcade games is in the 80s, they were mostly aimed at kids. And kids can't play games with Budweiser. So do you know what the solution was, Daniel? They made it root beer. They made a root beer tapper. Fuck that guy. Don't, don't pour him a... The dancing girl showed up and he's distracted. Okay. You're of a certain age. Do you remember back in the late 90s when they had that fucking, uh, Magic's Greatest Secrets Revealed thing? Where they had the masked magician? This was a fox thing. They had the masked magician, and he was showing how to do all these, like, magic tricks, and it was supposed to be, like, a big deal that he was showing off the secrets of magicians. Do you remember that at all? Nope. Okay, it was like 97, 98, so it's not surprising that you wouldn't totally remember it. But it was it was narrated by Mitch Pileggi. He would know best as uh, Director Skinner from The X-Files. Okay. So, first of all, his voiceover dialogue is fucking horrible. It is some of the worst written dialogue I've ever heard. But also, it was the late 90s, and, you know, we still said certain things. So, at one point, like, all of these these magic tricks had, like, fucking, you know, like, scantily clad fucking assistants, you know, like, looking all sexy-like and shit so that, you know, you were maybe not paying attention to the trick and he could get away with some shit. So, at one point, they're doing this trick and the, the assistants are dancing around the box and fucking <laughs> Director Skinner of the FBI says, then the assistants do a dance. Doesn't actually end the trick. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> and it's like, for everything I know about Mitch Pileggi, he's like not a scummy guy or anything. But in that one moment, I was like, I feel dirty. I need to have a shower. <laughs> Just didn't have the time. No. So yeah, it's, it's super, super hilarious. I recommend, it's on the Netflix. Do you have the Netflix? I do. You should watch it on the Netflix. I'm pretty sure there's not a the in it. I know, I just like to put it there because it feels good. On the whole, Preparation H feels pretty good. Which is one of the only good jokes from that entire fucking movie. We as a culture have pretty much decided that Austin Powers is not as good as we remember it, right? I think so. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what a bunch of jerks. Give them their beer and get them the fuck out. They just don't want to let you. Have you ever been to the third, the third level? This is the third level? No, I mean like the, uh, the, the third, third stage. The third area, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh! I was trying. I was trying. You gonna try one more time? Yeah, I'll try one more. Okay. Well, look, you got the, uh... Well, nobody knows what kind of score you got now. Because he pressed the button. Off to a good start. Good. Good. So there's five... Four stages. There's this one, just the bar. Then there's the sports event. Then there's the biker bar, the punk biker bar. Okay. And then the alien spaceship. Because this is an 80s arcade game. And everything and you had to have, have aliens. to have aliens. I think that this game is really like the true, like, the true uh, proof of that. This is a game about pouring beer, and they still had Put to get aliens, aliens in. in. Yeah. All right, you got it this time? Had it last time. Oh, yeah, you just fucked it up the first time we were doing the, the warm up, didn't you? I wasn't paying attention. Which one is it? That one. Nice. See, okay, I always thought, because you and me are pretty good with uh, tracking objects like that, mm -hmm. and I always thought that everyone's good at that, until I watched Erica try to do it once, and she couldn't do it. 
because video games have trained us to have really good, what is it, object, object, what's the word I want here? <laughs> no! We all have that! Many dogs have that! Um... We we can track objects better. It's actually been proven that it's actually been proven that gamers track it better than normal people. Really? Has that been proven? Yep. Gamers can track. Whoops. Gamers can track um, almost. Uh, it's it's one of those things where if you show gamers like a yellow dot uh -huh. on a screen and then cover up the dots and say, okay, now can you? Uh, now there are like thirty dots on the screen. Uh, which ones were the yellow ones? Oops. Really? That'd be fucking hard. Um, and most people can do, like, two or three dots and remember which ones were the two or three. Mm -hmm. Gamers can do, like, seven or eight or more. Really? Huh. So you're gonna do it one more time? Nope. Because he sucks so bad? I said, no, I got to, I got to uh, level four. Oh, is it my turn now? Yeah. I'll just put in your name. You are ah. And, uh, we're gonna... Oh, I thought you said you weren't gonna... Daniel? Get okay, going. D oh, for Christ's sake, this is not... Nothing about this is comfortable. I'm just gonna... You know what? We'll be right back! Alright, we're back. Now Thomas, I'm playing. Thomas has told me he's gonna show me an alien spaceship. I... Dude, I am not that good. I can only sometimes get to the biker bar. You are not gonna see an alien spaceship today. Thomas has promised me alien <sighs> spaceship. I did promise alien spaceships. Daniel, if there's one thing I'm well known for, it's fucking breaking promises. <laughs> get ready to be disappointed. Get out of my bar. I didn't like him. He smelled like beer. What an asshole. Okay, I gotta pay attention this time. I haven't been paying attention. Okay. Okay. Good. I got this. So much concentration, Daniel. You got it. Oh. Oh, I know. Daniel, mm -hmm. if there's one thing I know, it's that I got it. But what do you got? Uh... Diabetes, probably, from all the pizza I eat. Oh, shit. You got lucky. I got really fucking lucky. The game took pity on me. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. Booyah, Grandma. What the fuck? Did you say booyah, Grandma? I sure did. You got a problem with that? Grandma? I just broke my fucking heel. So, okay. I think this really proves that when you're clever, you can make a video game about anything. It's an age-old tale, Thomas. Uh-huh. Boy meets girl. Uh-huh. Boy loses girl. Uh-huh. Boy forgets about girl. Boy me boy is reminded of girl. Boy meets girl. Uh, boy meets girl through tra through uh through tragic happenstance. Girl is killed in a horrible blimp accident over New York City. Goodyear? No. Oh, you're the making, worst. You're making a fucking airplane joke. It's not airplane. It's naked is gun. It? Is it? Yeah. Oh, would you people just get your beer and get the fuck out? No, I meant... Daniel? Mm -hmm. They won't leave. Fuck. I did throw too many beers there, right? Yep. Every time I throw too many beers, it's like, oh, hits the ground. Every time you throw too many beers, it's like, well, what? There was an extra person who just happened to catch one. <laughs> Shit. You don't have to run to pick those up. Ugh. Pick what up? The, the beer bottles. You can actually just throw more and they'll come to you. <laughs> that was two, right? Okay, good. Three. Now, when you say throw more and they'll come right to you, like, I'm trying to minimize the amount, the amount of beer bottle, uh, beer mugs that I have on screen at a time. But in doing so, you're wasting time that you could be throwing more beer at people. Do you think? Mm-hmm. Come on. Daniel? They won't leave. So much fucking concentration. Okay, are they both out? Good. Ah! It's impossible! See, you could have gotten rid of that guy right there, and then you might have won the level. I'm still gonna win the level. Probably. Oh, Holy yes! Shit. Dude. Fucking skills. Now, that was level four, right? Yep. So now I'm going... Oh, I killed a bird. Think I'm joking? 
there's the fucking bird I killed. Oh, I, I didn't think you were joking. Oh, okay. So I was is this still... Oh, oh, shit. I thought I... I thought I had made it to the biker bar. I was wrong. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That was too many, wasn't it? It was, but somehow it happened. It worked out for you again. That one didn't. I thought that there were two that needed it there. Oh, so hard, Daniel. Why is it so hard? Dancing girls. That is actually the reason, isn't it? <laughs> Why did dancing girls gotta make things hard? <gasps> I fucking did it! Wow. I know! It went easy on you. They totally just let me get away with that. All right, so what's happening now? That sucks. All right. I got it this time. And I mean, I had it last time too, but I'm just saying I also have it this time. Second from the right? Mm hmm Let's watch this thing. Okay. We agree? Yep. Cool. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll babies, I know. All right. We're in the fucking biker bar now. So again, I'm sorry you won't be seeing aliens. I did my best. Shit, was that my last? Oh, no, I, I have more lives. Two, three, four. One, two, three. I guess I only threw three there. See, what they've done is now that they've got it going on both sides, it's really disorienting. So it's harder to tell where everyone is and what you got to do in order to make this all fucking work. Fuck, I went to... All right, well, how long is left in this episode, Daniel? Did we tap enough? Did we serve enough beers? Is your phone dead? You know what? That's that's the end of the episode. Is it? We've got another two minutes, but that's not enough time for us to play no, again. that's pretty good. All right, so that was Tapper. I'm just going to... You know what my name here is going to be? Tammy? Nope. Tap for Tapper. Also, Tom Awesome Penis. Pet. Tom's Awesome Penis. All right, sure, whatever. Join us next time on Two Player Start, where we'll never talk about that again. <laughs> where we will definitely talk about Tom's awesome penis. All right, sure, whatever. It is pretty awesome. You see is it, it, right? <laughs> Probably more than I want to. <laughs> Join us next time. Uh, where's your... Daniel? Yep. I'm a ball blaster. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to <laughs> advertise, advertise that. <laughs> Well, hey, hey there, Internet. My name is Tom. And I'm Daniel. And we are brothers. We're going to play some games for you. Uh, we figured we would start this series off with uh, just an old game that we both played. When